Well, good morning, church, and and I hope you're excited to go through the book of Philippians with us. Uh, We talked about last time, just before getting started, that the book of Philippians is written by Paul, and he was writing it to the church in Philippi, and a large part of that is to encourage them. Now, what's weird about that is he's encouraging them because they're worried about him. So he begins this letter by just thanking God for them and making it clear that he prays for them, that he he thanks God for blessing his life by putting them in it. In verse 3, he says, I give thanks to my God for every remembrance of you, always praying with joy for all of you in my every prayer because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. So he's saying even as he's imprisoned currently, they've been a huge encouragement to him just to think about how they are living out their faith. As we continue on through the book of Philippians, we're going to see that Paul really does talk a lot about what that actually looks like. Not just saying you have faith, but actually putting that to practice in how we live out our lives. And I think what we're going to see is Paul has some credibility in saying that. Being someone who's currently imprisoned, not where he wishes he was, but still going out and being partnered with the church and sharing the gospel in any way. And for us... I think a big way we wish we could spread the gospel and and show the gospel is by coming to church together in one place. Obviously, that's not where we're at yet, but that doesn't mean we just can't live out the gospel. We can go to our neighbors. We can live out our faith anywhere we go so that people can get a taste of who God is, get a taste of His love. And obviously, that, that needs to be backed up by the fact that we share the gospel with the people around us. We can't just let our actions be the only thing that share it. We need to share the gospel with our mouths and the words that we say and make sure they know the reason we live the way we do is because of Jesus Christ. And so I hope you're excited to go through the book of Philippians together. There's a lot we can learn from from Paul and what he has to say to this church.